in this Cypress tutorial, we are going to see how to perform data driven testing in the Cypress automation framework. So here I'm creating two tutorials on the data driven testing. The first part is on how to perform the data driven testing using the JSON file. And in the part two, we are saying how to pass the multiple sets of test data to the test cases. So let's discuss part one, how to pass the test data from the JSON file. So let's look at the manual scenario first. So here, here I will go to the google.com and I will search for the JavaScript by tester stock. And after that, so simply I will take the some part of this URL and I will open the another tab and I'll paste it here. So this is a URL what we are using. So we will navigate to the this URL and we will inspect the search text box and we will clear out the existing text and we will enter the new text here. And after that we are clicking on the search icon. So basically in this search text box, we are entering the test data from the JSON file. So here I will navigate to the VS code. So let's write a simple script that will read the test data from the JSON file and it will pass on to the automation test. So inside the E2E folder, I'm creating a one file called data driven testing one dot cy dot js. That's it guys. So let's create a test suit file test suit first. So by using the describe, we, we can create a test suit. So here we have to add the suit name as data driven test suit. That's it. And after that, I will put the comma and here I will add the arrow function and I will open the and I will open the curly brace and I will close the curly brace. Sorry guys. Now in the similar way, let's add the test by using the it keyword. So here I will say it and here I will add the test name as data driven data driven test. So here I'll add the test one because in the part two we will add the test two. That's it guys. Now I will add the comma and then here I will add the arrow function. Then I will open the brace and I will close it. Now, firstly, let's navigate to the URL by using the CY command. So here I'm adding CY dot visit. And in the single quotation, we can add the URL. So let's take the URL first. So this is the URL where we have to navigate. And after navigating to that particular URL, we have to identify the this particular search text box. Simply inspect the element. And if you see here, which has the tag name as text area and which has the multiple attributes. So here I'm using the type equal to search. So here I'm firstly pressing the control F and then I'm adding the tag name first text area. Followed by that in the square brackets, I'm adding the attribute name and then value. So here I'll say search. That's it. So we are able to identify the search text box. So it is highlighting that particular element. And also here you can see that it is matching with only one element. Simply copy the selector. And here we have to use the cy dot get. Let's add the selector here. So we want to clear the first text here. So that's the reason I'm calling the method called clear. So after clearing the text from the search text box, we want to enter the data. So I will use the same element by using that. So here I'm calling another method called type. I want to type the some data. So as of now, I will hard code the value. Then in another few minutes, we will read the test data from the JSON file and we will pass that particular data from the 
json file to the this particular line so here i will say api testing by tester stock that's it guys now after entering the text so we have to click on the this particular search icon so let's inspect the search icon as well and if you see here so let me refresh the page here and then i will inspect the search icon and if i go little bit up here so we have the one tag called button so tag name is button here and if you look at the attributes also so there are multiple attributes so here i'm using the attribute called type equal to submit so let's add the by using the tag name and attribute name we are going to identify the search icon so tag name is button so let's add the button followed by that so we have to use the attribute name and then we have to add the attribute value as submit that's it guys so if you look at here so it is matching with the search icon so let's copy the selector and then we have to click on this particular search icon by using the cypress command so let's use the cy dot get and here i will add the selector value and then i will call to the click method that's it guys now let's validate this particular test in the cypress test runner then we will create a simple test data file so that's a json file and we will add this particular test data in the json file and we will read the this data from the json file so let's validate this test is working fine or not now so here i will go to the test runner and i will refresh the page then i will select the spec file here what we have created just now so if you see here so we have created a data driven testing one so our test is running currently and if you see here already it has cleared it and also it has entered the api testing by tester stock and also it has clicked on the search icon and also here you can see the respective results also now let's create a simple json file under the fixtures folder so if you see here so already there is a existing file called example.json so in the similar way if you see the example.json file so where it has specified only key name and respective value here right in the similar fashion so let's create a one json file under the fixtures folder so here i will right click on the folder and here i'll say new file i will give the file name as data driven testing one dot json that's it so here i will open and close the flower brackets and then i will add the key and value so here i'll say skill one colon and i will add the value as javascript by testers top and then i will add another key and value so here i'll say key name as channel and here i will add the value as testers that's it guys so like this you can add n number of keys and respective values so here i will do a small modification so as we are already searching here with the javascript by test test doc so i will pass the test data differently here so here i'll say api testing by test test doc so that's it guys so our test data file is ready now i will go back to the our javascript spec file so here i'm adding one hook called before so inside the before i will firstly i will add the name of the before code block as run before all test and then i will put the comma then then i will add the 
arrow function then i will open the flower bracket and i will close it so inside the before hook so we are going to read the this particular json file and the test data and finally we will be using the test data from the json file in the our automation test so inside the before hook what do you what do you need to write is so cy dot you need to call to the method called fixture so inside the fixture you need to pass the file name so simply i will take the file name here that's it and i will add it here and after that once you added the file name of the test data file so simply call the another method called then and here we will be saving this particular json file test data in the variable so here i will say the variable name as json test data and then i will add the arrow function then i will open the flower bracket and i will close it that's it guys so we, here in this particular variable that's the json test json data which has the test data of the json file now so we have to assign this particular json data to the one of the variable so that's the reason here i'm creating one variable called let test data that's it so simply i will assign this particular json data to the test data variable so i will copy this variable name here and here i will assign the json data to the test data that's it guys now by using the test data we can access the data which is there inside the json file so simply we have to use the variable called test data dot key name so i will copy the test data variable name and i will come back to the line number 17 where we are currently hard coding the test data so simply i will delete the test data here and i will add the variable name dot so here we have to add the key name so in our case the key name is so we want to pass the api testing by tester stock right so in this case key name is skill one skill one sorry so simply i will pass the after the test data dot i will pass the key name here that's it and this time if i execute the test right it should pass the this particular test data to the automation test now let's run the test from the cypress test runner so here i will go to the test runner and i will click on the run all test so this time we should be able to read the test data from the json file and also we should be able to pass the test data to the our automation code so at the end in the google in the google search text box we are passing the api testing by tester stock and also you can see the test status it is working perfectly fine now this time let us search with the postman by tester stock so here i will update the test data as postman by tester stock again i will rerun the cypress test so this time we should be able to search in the google search box with the postman by tester stock so if you see here so our test is perfectly working fine and also here you can see the test status also our test is getting passed so this is how you can perform the data driven testing in the cypress automation framework